Okay, I thought I would add some music to our last quick science video, but I'm not a musician, so it didn't turn out that well. Anyways, good morning or afternoon, everyone. I am Miss Parachelski, and I have one last quick science lesson for you on one of my favorite insects called the ladybug. So before we begin, I want to make sure everyone knows that even though a ladybug is very pretty and beautiful and has the name lady in its title, a ladybug can be both a girl or a boy. Now ladybugs are normally red in color and have black dots or spots all over the outside of their body. Now like many other animals, there are many, many different types of ladybugs, but the ones you see in Canada are normally bright red in color and actually have seven dots somewhere on their exterior. So next time you see a ladybug, try to count how many dots you see. Now like other animals, a ladybug goes through a life cycle, meaning it starts really small in eggs and ends as an old ladybug, kind of like a grandparent, you could say. Today, we're gonna learn all about what goes on in that life cycle and what happens in order for you to see that pretty red, beetle flying around in the sky. So please sit back and enjoy and I look forward to teaching you all about one of my favorite bugs. Let's get started. Stage one. Ladybugs start out as little tiny yellow eggs. These eggs are way smaller than the eggs we eat for breakfast. In fact, often a group of 10 or even 20 eggs can fit on a single leaf from a tree. This means that these baby ladybugs are really, really small. Stage two. In a few days, these tiny yellow eggs turn into larvae. You can think of larvae as kid ladybugs. Ladybug larvae look somewhat like tiny alligators because they have long bodies and bumpy exoskeletons. After a few days, the larvae will shed their skin and move on to the next stage of the ladybug life cycle, which is called a pupa. Stage three. You can think of a pupa as a teenage ladybug. In many species, the pupa are brightly colored and have some spots on them like the traditional adult ladybug. In order for a pupa to become an adult ladybug, they must again shed their outer skin and move on to the fourth stage of the life cycle. Stage four. Last but not least is the adult ladybug. You've probably seen an adult ladybug before, either in the Diefenbaker community garden, or maybe you even have had one land on your arm when you were outside. You can identify an adult ladybug by their bright red shell. This bright red shell is actually used to tell predators that ladybugs don't taste good. This helps them keep safe and not become someone's lunch or dinner. Dun, dun, dun. Anyways, that's the life cycle of a ladybug. Egg, larva, pupa, adult ladybug. That's it. There you have it. That's the life cycle of a ladybug. Pretty impressive, I would say. Now, I hope you enjoyed this lesson, but before you leave, I have one fun fact that I just learned that I want to share with you too. So I had no idea, but a ladybug, like many other animals and insects, like bears, hibernates in the wintertime. What that means is when it gets cold outside, ladybugs do not want to be in the outdoors. So normally they hide under a leaf or they maybe even hide in your home to stay warm. Before ladybugs hibernate, they actually eat for an entire month. Can you believe that? My stomach would be so full. Anyways, that's all for now from Ms. Parachowski. I look forward to looking at all of your life cycle worksheets and sharing more fun facts and science tips in the future with you. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.